hey, David Bruce here in the episode of Chord Play. This is the Chords of the Doobie Brothers. And the Doobie Brothers formed in San Jose, California in 1970 and went on to become one of the most popular bands of the 70s. And there are three different incarnations of the Doobie Brothers. There's the early phase. Tom Johnston was kind of the front man. And then he left the group. Michael McDonald came in and he became the front man. And then there was about a nine-year window with no Doobie Brothers at all. And then somewhere in 1989, they came back I think Michael McDonald eventually did come back in the band. But a uh, really interesting group. You know, definitely uh, I'm a big fan of the early stuff. I like the first phase of the Doobie Brothers. No offense to Michael McDonald's, you know, input in his phase. And then the later stuff's interesting and it's good. But there really is like just this magical kind of aura around those first few Doobie Brothers, you know, albums. As far as guitarists in the band, you know, Tom Johnston, definitely, you know, lead vocals, guitar. Patrick Simmons also plays, you know, guitar and, and backup vocals and lead vocals. And then also there was a phase with Jeff Skunk Baxter, you know, from Steely Dan fame. And when Jeff left Steely Dan, he started working with the Doobie Brothers. He was looking for a band to tour with and to play with because I think uh, if the story is correct. I think, uh, I think Fagan was kind of like changing the face of Steely Dan. They weren't really going to tour as much, and I think they were going to rely more on session musicians. And then Jeff left Steely Dan and jumped right into the Doobie Brothers. So it's a really interesting group, and definitely, uh, if you're not really familiar with those early albums that I mentioned earlier, um, there's all kinds of great stuff. There's great electric work, this funky, you know, kind of rock, rock funk kind of blues, you know, feel. And there's lots of acoustic stuff, you know, really cool chords, and, uh, just all kinds of cool stuff going on. So buckle up because I'm going to pass you a Doobie Brothers, you know, guitar lesson. Uh, but here we go. With the opening, that was Jesus is Just Alright from Too Loose Street. And Too Loose Street, I think, is Doobie Brothers, you know, best album. It's you know, loaded with great songs and they, even the songs that weren't hits are great. And there's actually going to be a lot from that album in this lesson, just a heads up. But something like this. <laughs> So you're starting with a Hendrix chord, you know, E7 sharp 9, you're kind of, you know, banging on it, hitting it, and then you're going to slide into an F7, and then hit that F9 right there, just, you know, once, and then grab that F7 and go back to E7, and then finish with a Hendrix chord again, that E7 sharp 9, like this. <laughs> this A blues kind of riff. And it's kind of sneaky the way it moves into that F sharp right there. And then moves to A, you know, to start the verse. But that's a killer, like, kind of rock out riff. The next example is also from Two Loose Street. This is Rockin' Down the Highway, you know, a classic rock radio staple, like this. And you end on A again right there. But we're gonna be way up here, you know, kind of grabbing these 70s inversions, and it starts with an A right there. So you're playing, you know, this higher A, you hear it move back to this G over A, and then a D over A, like this. And then you hear it move back like this. You're playing the same chord, but you want to fret it differently, because you want to do that D over A again, and then you're going to follow that with A major, like this partial you know, shape right there, like this. single note riff and it kind of moves into A right there for the verse you know once again but a classic riff Okay, up next is a really obscure Doobie Brothers song. This is Flying Cloud from the What Were Once Vices or Now Habits album. 
and it's based around really basic chords. There's also a phase kind of effect, and I'm using the MXR Phase 95. But there's really interesting chords, and it's a good pinky workout, uh, of all things. Something like this. <laughs> going you know from there but it starts with this and you're doing E major and you're grabbing the C sharp there on the B string with your pinky and that's going to change it to an E6 and you're doing this and then move to A minor and right there kind of pick through the chord open up that B string you know for A sus 2 and then hammer on again to that C note right there and then go to D sus 2 and then hammer on the F sharp for D major and then go back to that E major chord again. And there's another workout for your pinky. You're grabbing, you know, basically an E7 there, grabbing that D note. And then it gets all dreamy. You've got the C major 7. minor seven right here and then you hear like this kind of harmonized scale run and it goes right back to that C note which also the chord is that C major seven again you know like basic songs like that where the chords are very simple but then it's twisting around and you know doing some different things with the progression you know really cool up next is another classic song this is listen to the music which is also from two loose street and it's just a you know classic guitar riff like this <laughs> And it's really just two chords. It's basically an implied E and an implied A. So you're really just kind of hammering on to this Hendrixy, you know, E, like an E over G sharp right there, but you do have the low E open too. And then you're moving over to that 70s, you know, kind of A inversion right there. excel at those kind of riffs where it's just kind of laid back it's got a groove to it you know not overly hard to play but it just sounds good you know it catches your ear catches your attention you know and simple guitar parts I mean look at ACDC or Sabbath or any band like that and simple you know definitely has its place and the Doobie Brothers you know kind of even though it's a different style than like ACDC or Black Sabbath it kind of falls into that school where it doesn't have to be hard to play. You know, it just sounds good. And here's another Upscare Doobie song. This is a song to see you through, the opening track from What Were Once Vices or Now Habits album. And it's this really airy, melodic, you know, guitar part. Really cool. Um... <laughs> Basically, you know, once again, kind of dancing around a couple chords, and it starts with this E. Um, it's definitely in the key of E, very loosely fit in the key of E. Because right there, you're grabbing this, and then there's a little piece of E, then you're grabbing a little piece of this. I mean, I guess it's technically F sharp minor, and then sliding into another piece of E right there. You know, it's got this really cool sound. Right 
right there, after you do that slide up, you want to go back and then do a hammer on pull up right there. And then you're going to hear that uh, kind of Hendrixy hammer on. And then you want to do that slide again. And then it moves to C sharp minor. And then you hear that Hendrixy hammer, hammer on again. And then you hear two of those hammer ons. And then it kind of starts over again. An obscure song, but a really cool guitar part. example is an obscure fan favorite from the Doobies, and this is White Sun, which is also from Too Loose Street. And the original studio version is just an acoustic with a vocal, but I have seen some more recent, you know, live footage from the Doobies, and they were playing this with a full band, which is cool to see them expand, you know, this older song. And like I said, it's actually on acoustic guitar, and it's played finger style. I'm just going to play it on electric. I'm feeling kind of lazy. But uh, something like this. It's really cool. <laughs> implied chords of course but it's kind of an implied uh, F sharp 11 and then eventually you know E major and you're really just kind of playing this little single note melody and then you're you know playing that the B and the high E open and you're kind of rolling with this finger style arpeggio pattern like this like that too it all fits in one position and I have seen some transcriptions online of the song and they were whacked out they were moving all over the fretboard and you can hear a slide at one point you know during the song I think it's like this <laughs> right there in the same position and it doesn't really take away from the B or the high E so I just prefer to play it right there you don't have to move you know obviously you're moving your fingers but you don't have to shift you know uh, like this instead of doing this Or maybe sliding in the wrong, you know, note. But when you keep it all in one position like that, it makes it way easier too. It's gonna wrap this episode of chord play with the chords of the Doobie Brothers, and I'm definitely a fan. I mean, they were kind of before my time, and then there was a big span in the '80s where there was nothing, and then they kind of had a comeback and you know continued to reform and have uh, reunion tours and stuff. But like I said earlier, you know, at the beginning of this lesson, there's something really magical and special about those early, you know, three or four albums from the Doobies before Michael McDonald. And no offense to Michael, but the band noticeably changed after Tom left and Michael came in. And they never really returned to that kind of magical early 70s kind of sound, which is a bummer. But definitely check out that stuff. There's great, you know, acoustic work. There's great chord work. Good songs. You know, some of that stuff is just classic, you know, rock anthems or whatever. There's really no other way to put it. I mean, the Doobie Brothers are just cool. You know, good band, great vocal harmonies, kind of funky, scratchy, you know, acoustic stuff, you know, cool chords. You know, great material for sure. And when I hear them on the radio, I just turn it up where it's like, yeah, I want to hear this loud because it's great. And uh, just something about that magical, you know, 70s rock era. So anyway, leave some feedback and comments. Please subscribe to my lessons, and I'll be back before you know it with more content and material. Thank you.